Hi. Uh, today I'm going to talk for a minute about protecting your artwork. I got a question from somebody um, asking, how can I protect my work so it can never be copied or so my idea is never stolen? Would it be okay to copyright or do you know of any other ways I can protect my work? Um, now the first thing that I want to make sure everybody knows is that any work of art that you create is automatically copyrighted. All you have to do is say that it's copyrighted and you're covered. So you don't have to do anything other than that. You just, um, and when you post a picture of it anywhere on the internet, make sure you put uh, a caption of some sort or a title next to it that says the title of the work, um, copyright, your name, and the year. For example, I just finished a painting called Bird Song Above. So to copyright that on my website, I would put a little caption that says, uh, bird Song Above, Copyright Cedar Lee 2010, with a little copyright symbol. So I think it is a good idea to copyright all of your work. Um, in the unlikely event that somebody steals your work and, you, you know, uses it for their own financial gain, um, you'll be protected. You know, if they made a thousand prints of one of your paintings and was, was selling them or something like that. And there have actually been cases of this happening with, um, I don't know if you've heard of the scandals with the Chinese art factories where they steal a design from an artist and uh, make tons and tons of copies of them and sell them. Um, so copywriting your work can protect you if you run into a situation like that, but it's pretty unlikely that that's going to happen to you. What is much more likely to happen is people... Um, finding your website, finding your work somewhere online, and they say, oh, I like that image, and then they, you know, set it as the wallpaper on their desktop, or they print out a copy of it to hang on their wall, or something like that. They might, they might print out a copy of it and give it to somebody. Or they might take one of your images and post that as their Facebook profile picture, or something like that, without giving you credit. Um, which is really annoying, but it, it's very unlikely that somebody would actually take your work and reproduce it on a mass scale and try and get away with that. <clears throat> um, so, in reality, there's really nothing you can do about people stealing your images on that small scale. And at first, that used to bother me that people did that. And then I realized that, um, you know, once I got over the initial discomfort of that, of knowing that people were doing that, um, you know, those people aren't going to be buying the originals anyway. And and if you think about it, it's a, a compliment of sorts that somebody uh, likes your work enough to print it out or whatever. And what harm are they really doing? You know, the, I, the way I see it is that's one more person I have out there who likes my work, who's a fan of my work. They weren't going to buy an original anyway. And now they may at some point in the future, or they might you know, someone else might see the thing that they printed out and say, oh, what is that? And lead them back to me. So it's it's just my, my art getting out there in more places. And when you think about it that way, it's not as scary. As for the risk of other artists, you know, stealing your ideas or copying your work, um, I'm afraid there's nothing you can do about that either. It's You, you have to choose between putting your work out there uh, or hiding it from the world in the fear that somebody's going to steal it. And I think that there is a much greater benefit to you to have your work out there and people seeing it than to hoard it and keep it to yourself and have nobody see it um, just on the off chance that someone might steal something. So the way I deal with this issue is I know that I want my work out there. I know I want it to be seen I want as many people as possible to see what I do. It's good for business. On the other hand, I don't want people to be able to create really high quality prints of my work that would be good enough to sell. Um, so what I do is I just make sure that the images I post online are fairly low resolution so that if someone tried to print it on a large scale, it wouldn't look good, but you know, large enough so that people can see the work. Um, I think at least my personal rule of thumb is no larger than 600 pixels in any dimension. I think that's what I have on my website. And that seems to work out well for me. Some people do 
um, add a watermark like they use Photoshop or something to put a watermark across each painting with their name or the copyright like across the center of the of the painting and I think that's way too distracting and um, you want people to see the actual painting and what it looks like so I don't I wouldn't do the watermarks personally but you can if that makes you comfortable I think it's still better than not putting your work out there at all out of fear that's not to say you shouldn't protect yourself you should always put on your website or wherever your art is um, all images are copyrighted all rights reserved please do not reproduce without permission and the thing to remember about if somebody's going to be copying your ideas or stealing your work um, if you are truly an original artist you can come up with new work you know like you're constantly creating new things you, nobody can really replicate your style if you put in the hours and put in the work and put in the creativity to create that style and make it really your own um, it's the more truly original you are the harder it is to copy you so um, as with most art advice that anyone could give it always goes back to working on improving the, the art itself so <clears throat> um, good luck to everyone out there and one last word of advice if you are just starting out um, showing your work to the world I would say definitely put it out there you know get a website if you don't have a website use Facebook or MySpace or one of those websites where you can um, share an album of photos and just sh show people what you do because if you don't if you don't show people what you do it's not like they're gonna guess that you know they, they're never gonna know unless you show them so um, show them you know that's that's how you get started sharing your work and the, that confidence builds and it builds and you keep getting better and you keep sharing and um, just try it and you'll see you'll see what happens <laughs>